In this tutorial, you'll see how to use conditional access policies to customize MFA requirements for the JumpCloud user portal and connected applications by user group. For example, you can require MFA for all users under a specific user group. Likewise, you could also create a policy to bypass MFA for a specific user group. Test around to see what requirements work best for you and your organization and users. Note, when configuring MFA by group, the users in the targeted user group must first have MFA enabled on their user account. Please check out the Knowledge Base and Jump Cloud University for more details. To get started, log into your administrator account at console.jumpcloud.com. Navigate to the Conditional Policies menu in the left-hand nav. To create a new conditional policy, click the green plus button at the top left. A right-hand pane will appear with the configuration options for your new policy. Fill out the following, policy name, description, and policy status. Focusing on user assignments, you can either select all users or a specific user group. In our use case, I'll select the specific user group remote workers. For configuring MFA by group, we can skip over the condition section and move on to the action section. Check out the other tutorial videos to learn more about conditions such as IP lists and devices. Under Actions, select Allow Authentication into Selected Resources. If I want to allow users with this user group to bypass MFA, I would leave Require MFA unchecked. But in this use case, I want to require MFA. A new modal appears on the screen stating that this policy requires the users to authenticate with MFA. Users in the selected user groups who haven't set up MFA will be forced to enroll. This will occur upon the next authentication attempt. Enrollment periods do not apply to users affected by these policies. Click Create Policy. This policy will now require MFA during authentication to the user portal and bound SSO applications for any user a part of the remote workers user group. To show this policy in action, Bob Fay is a part of the user group Remote Workers, while Tim Fay is a part of the Denver Office user group. Bob Fay will be required to enter MFA while Tim does not due to the group memberships. Currently, Bob Fay does not have MFA enabled or configured for his account, thus he will be required to configure MFA upon his next login. As we can see, Bob is required to configure MFA before access is granted. This is due to his membership of the Remote Workers User Group. Users can configure either TOTP or WebAuthn during this time. In this example, we'll configure TOTP. Once MFA has been configured, the next login attempt will ask for Bob's password and MFA token, as we can see in this demonstration. Logging in as Tim Fay, we can see that this MFA requirement does not apply as he is not a member of the Remote Workers User Group. For more information regarding conditional policies for MFA by group, please check out JumpCloud's Knowledge Base articles for more details.